Not quite sure how to start writing your nursing reflection? Or maybe you know absolutely nothing about writing nursing reflections. Luckily, there's an easy framework that many nursing schools and educators use to help students guide their reflection, and it's called LEARN. Do you want to know how to use this acronym to write your reflection? Stick around and I'll walk you through each step of the framework so you can write your reflection like a pro. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Jess B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. Nursing reflections are more than just a journal entry or writing in your diary. It takes some critical thinking, analysis, and some real self-reflection. Nursing reflections can be written in many different ways, but one of the ways that you might be required to write your reflection assignment, especially if you're a nursing student in Ontario, Canada, is to use the LEARN format, L-E-A-R-N. LEARN is an acronym that basically stands for a look back, elaborate, analyze, revision, and new perspective. Now, I'm going to walk you through each of these components in today's video, but if you think you'd benefit from a cheat sheet to help you write your reflection using this format, stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll share with you how you can download it for free. Look back. Look back is just that, looking back at a meaningful event that occurred. It could be at your clinical placement, your class, an interaction you had with another colleague or health professional, or maybe an event that occurred. This section of your reflection is setting the stage and introducing the main event to be discussed. You are really just introducing the event here. So let's say we write something like, last week was my very first day of clinical at Spring Meadows Nursing Home. I was nervous and excited to meet my clinical instructor and to meet my patient. I was most excited about working with a real patient. Keep it simple and to the point, elaborate. The next step is to elaborate on the situation. This is where you want to provide some more details and specifics about what happened, what you saw, what you felt, what you heard, what you smelled. And we all know that sense of smell is going to be really important in nursing, right? I can't tell you how many smells nurses encounter every day. Also, what were you thinking? What were your thoughts? What did you interpret or what did you assume? In this part of your reflection, identify who was involved, when and where it happened, how you felt during the situation, or how you felt as a result of the situation, or how others may have felt. Take the reader to that exact moment that was so meaningful to you. Analyze. Okay, so the next section of your reflection is to critically analyze the situation. This is where critical thinking happens. And this is where you need to examine how and why the situation happened the way it did. Why did you respond that way? Why did the patient respond that way? Why did you feel the way you did? How did you respond? How did the patient respond? How did others in this scenario respond? In this section, identify your key issue clearly. If you had to summarize the one key issue at play, what would it be? Maybe it was communication or conflict management, or patient education, or advocacy, or therapeutic relationship. This section also requires you to do some research and pull some relevant information or articles about the key issue. Now, if your key issue in this scenario is, let's say, communicating with a dementia patient, if one article talks about specific approaches to communicating with dementia patients, then you might want to include that in your reflection. Maybe there were some approaches that you did use with the patient and ones that you didn't think of using. I mean, that's the whole point of analyzing your topic and using outside literature to get you to explore what you could do and what you did do. Revision. Revision is the next step. 
In this section, consider what should remain the same and what should be changed based on what you've read in the literature. Talk about how and why your practice should remain the same and how it should be changed. You can't just say, I would change this and that. Like ideally, whatever revisions you're suggesting in this section needs to be informed and backed up by research, right? I mean, that's the whole reason you looked at the literature in the first place. Basically, you are simply taking what you've learned about the topic from research article A and B and C and applying it to the situation or the context. This is the part of the reflection where students learn how to integrate research into practice, because that's what will be expected of you when you start working as a nurse. Ask yourself, based on what you know now, after doing some reading and research, what would you do if you were faced with a similar situation? This is where you're going to point to what the research and what the evidence suggests. Bottom line is that your revision section should be guided and informed by the evidence and literature that you find. Just be sure that the literature you do find aligns with the situation and the context that you're discussing in your reflection. New perspective. The final section of your assignment is new perspective. This is the aha moment of your reflection, the part where you tell the reader what you learn and gain from this experience. What new perspective about topic A have you gleaned? Was there something new that you discovered about yourself? What would you do and not do if you faced a similar experience in the future? As a student or nurse, what is the key learning that you've taken away from all of this? How will you move forward in your nursing career or in your nursing program with this new knowledge in mind? This is the part of the reflection when the reader should see how you've grown. Remember, reflections are more than just saying, well, I'll do better next time. It takes analysis, some thought, and going through the research. Reflections are meant for you to be open and honest about what you are feeling in the moment, so don't be afraid to really voice your true feelings and intentions. If you're looking to use the Learn format for your reflection and would like to get your hands on a quick reflection guide or cheat sheet that gives you some guiding questions to consider, then all you have to do is click on the link in the description box below and we'll email it to you directly for free. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. Ha, ha, ha.